Hi everyone and welcome to Coffee with My Sunshine. If you'd like to see how I made these items out of using just what I had in my craft stash without going to the store, then please keep watching. First I'm starting off with this magazine. I thought the lettering on the front was pretty cool. I'm using a black marker, paintbrush, and this cute little container that um, held some detergent, um, dishwasher detergent tabs. A glue stick, chalk paint, and a chalkboard black paint. And I thought this would be cool and give somebody maybe an idea if they didn't have the stick-on letters from the dollar store or from a craft store or if they don't have a Cricut or Silhouette machine. So I'm just taking these letters and cutting them out and then I'm going to paint this container with some Waverly white chalk paint. And then after I finish cutting out the letters, I'm just painting them black. And I ended up changing this up a little bit, so I did more work than was needed, but it was one of those projects that wasn't cooperating at the time. <laughs> so anyway, I just painted them and let them dry. So I wanted to let you know that this video is in collaboration with a bunch of my amazingly talented crafty friends here on YouTube. This collab was put together by Yami from the Latina Next Door. We all thought it would be a really fun idea since none of us can get out to craft stores or the Dollar Tree or wherever you shop to get our supplies. We thought it would be really fun to get really creative and only use what we have in our craft rooms. I know you will love all of these ladies so be sure to check them out when you're done with my video. I will have the playlist listed in the description box. And you will not be disappointed. You will come away with so much crafting inspiration. Don't forget to show them some love and tell them I sent you. So after the letters have dried, I am just taking my glue stick and gluing them on my little bucket here. And because I used a glue stick, it actually makes it easier to uh, move the letters around if you're not happy with the placement. Whereas if you used hot glue, it pretty much stuck there. And you would probably rip off the paint if you tried to remove the letters. But I ended up moving the letters around a lot, which made it so that they weren't as sticky as they should be. But anyway, I finally found a placement that I was happy with. And I tried to hand letter this, and this is kind of where everything started, where I didn't like it. So I started changing things, and it was a whole deal. I didn't keep that all in the video because it was kind of annoying. <laughs> so anyway, I'm taking an acrylic marker and just going over some of the edges to darken them, make it look a little bit rustic. I went over the handle as well with brown paint to give it like a wood look. And then I also went over it with a lighter brown paint marker to give it more like, give it more of like a textury look. So this is where I ended up redoing it. I had painted different colors on there and like I said, it was a disaster. So I just went ahead and t took some more white chalk paint and covered over all the paint and all the letters and then I just went back over it with a brown marker. Doesn't look much different than the black but for some reason I liked it better. And then I tried to hand letter the word seeds again. So anyway I thought this bucket would be really cute to hold my my seeds and stuff that I use for our garden. We have a garden every year and I like to keep everything together. So I thought this would be really cute in our um, laundry room where I keep this kind of stuff. For this next one it's going to be very simple. I'm just using some rope that I had and an old tray and I'm actually just going to change it up by gluing on the rope. So I was wondering how all of you guys are doing, how you are coping, and how you're keeping busy.
So this is what the tray looks like with the rope on it. I think it's so pretty. It has like a coastal vibe going on. Let me know what you think about the tray in the comments. For this next one, I'm just taking some aluminum foil and the backing of a Dollar Tree frame. And you want it to have the corrugated look to it. And you're just going to run a fork along the corrugated um, sections of the, the cardboard because you want to make them deeper than they are. And then you're going to take the aluminum foil and just crumple it up. Don't crumple it in a ball. Just crumple it up enough to get some texture. And we're kind of making like a, um, this is going to be a tin roof to a little house. So it's like a corrugated look. Or not corrugated, what's it called? Like a galvanized tin roof. So I'm just taking some of this Elmer's glue. You can use whatever you have. And you want to make sure it's even. You don't want any like bubbles or anything because you will see it. And then lay the foil on top and press it down really tight. You can use a pencil or a paintbrush, whatever, to really get it in there. And then I just took the end of the paintbrush and then um, pushed the aluminum foil into the little corrugated pieces. <laughs> or the little indentions. And then just cutting the excess foil off. And this is what it looks like. I think it's kind of cool, but I still wanted it to have a little bit more depth to it. So I'm adding some black acrylic paint. And I saw this technique on YouTube. I will link the channel if I can find it again. And I added a little bit of water to the black acrylic paint. And then while the paint's still wet, you want to blot it with a paper towel until you're happy with the coverage. And this house is one that I had. I got it from a thrift store a while back. And I loved the blue color, but I just wasn't too thrilled with the flowers that were on there. So I'm just using some of this white Waverly chalk paint, which I am almost out of. And I'm so sad, but it'll force me to use other colors, which I want to do anyway. <laughs> So I'm just cutting down the foil or the tin roof to fit the house and attaching it with hot glue. Same here, doing it on the other side, cutting around the little chimney. And then just roughing it up a little bit to give it some texture. And then I'm, I thought it needed something else because it looked kind of plain. So I'm just taking a cardboard box. This is part of my Trash to Treasure love, which I will link my last Trash to Treasure up above if you guys are interested. So I just cut down the box and glued it together to kind of make like a little um, window box, mini window box. And I just painted it white and then went, it, went over it with two different color brown markers and smeared it until I was happy with the faux wood look. And I'm just attaching that with hot glue as well.
and then filling it with little lavender and greenery picks. And I'm actually super happy with how it turned out. I think it's really cute and will look cute on a shelf. So let me know what you guys think and don't forget to check out my friends' channels. I will have the playlist listed in the description box. I hope you get tons of ideas and DIY inspiration using only your craft stash. I hope you all are doing well. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. Please stay safe, positive, and happy, and I'll see you next time. Bye!